Charles fell off immediately before it hit the inflatable giraffe. And now it's time for the weather with Jim... Ooh, that's not the weather. Uh, Ray, you're live on air. Today, our intrepid reporter Ray is once again somewhere very exotic and, dare I say it, dangerous. What's happening, Ray, and have you finished your lunch yet? I'm here in the Sahahaha Desert. Rather you than me, Ray. <laughs> Hold on, where did you say? Don't you mean Sahara Desert? Nope. This is the Sahahaha Desert. Never heard of it. Are you sure it's not the Sahara? Ugh. The Sahahahaha Desert is twice as hot and therefore twice as deadly as any other desert in the world. There's no such place, Ray, which makes you twice as stupid. Anyway, whatever. I'm here because there's been reports of a huge plague of man-eating locusts around here. Even though I'm an incredibly brave reporter, I don't want to take any chances. So I'm wearing this special protective gear, which I've been told will withstand... What was that, Ray? Oh dear. Sorry about that. It looks as though Ray's gone down with a bit of a bug. looking little thing. What are you? Hello, I'm a fly. And what funny looking thing are you? I'm the boy from far away. What do flies do? Um, a few things, but mainly just fly around. Wow, that sounds fun. Can I fly around with you? You might be a bit big for flying around. <laughs> I've got an idea. Hey, that's cool. Jump on board. <laughs> We'll never get out of this spider's web. Mmm, dinner time. Dinner time? Oh no, I think he's going to eat us. I think it's me he wants to eat. He thinks I'm tasty. Like beans and banana? No, chocolate. Now, how do we get out of this web? Hmm, 
I think I have an idea. Hold on tight. Phew, that was close. Are you OK, Fly? I'm OK. Thanks, boy. Boy, dinner's ready. Come on, Fly. Let's go and have some dinner. Do you like beans? No. Bananas? Oh, yes. My favourite. Ah! Oh, boy, get that fly away from your food. Oh. But he's having some banana. mile an hour tales. Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, Little Red Riding Hood was on her way to visit her granny, who lived deep in the forest. Little did she know that a big bad wolf was on the prowl. Where are you going? He asked. I'm going to visit my granny in the cottage down the lane. The wolf suggested that she take some flowers to her granny, and while she wasn't looking, he ran on ahead. When he got to the cottage, the wolf found granny in bed and swallowed her in one gulp. But the wolf was still hungry, so he came up with a cunning plan. He disguised himself as granny, got into her bed, and settled in to wait. Little Red Riding Hood arrived at the cottage and found her granny in bed. She thought that granny looked a little different and said, Granny, what big ears you have? The wolf replied, All the better to hear you with, my dear. Granny, what enormous scary and bloodshot eyes you've got. All the better to see you with, my dear. And granny, what big teeth you have. All the better to eat you with, my dear. And the wolf swallowed Little Red in one gulp before falling fast asleep. The woodsman came by and heard the wolf snoring. You're not granny, he said, and quick as a flash, he cut the wolf open, freeing granny and Little Red Riding Hood. Then the woodsman, granny and Little Red Riding Hood enjoyed some tea and cake. And as for the wolf, he decided to go on a diet. And to add to his embarrassment, one of them turned out to be a member of the same badminton club. Well, it's no secret in the newsroom that I believe in ghosts. Where was I? <clears throat> oh, yes. Our intrepid reporter Ray is about to visit Ghostly Manor, which some say is the world's most haunted house. <laughs> Look at him jump. This is going to be good, viewers. I don't believe in all that ghosty nonsense, which is why I'm the best man to go in and report on all these so-called scary goings-on. <laughs> Whoa! What was that? That's more thunder and lightning, Ray. Don't tell me you're scared of the weather. I'm scared of nothing. I am an intrepid news reporter, I'll have you know. Now, if you excuse me, it's time for me to investigate this haunted house. I might even stay the night. So unscary does it look from here.
will be back tomorrow when we've managed to drag him away from the arms of his mummy. <laughs> Aw, poor Ray.